Hi and welcome to a new video. Have you been getting the notification, disk is almost full on your Mac? Then it's time for you to clean and free up space on your computer. In this video, I will show you some tips on how you can manage your Mac storage. Let's go. One aspect of Apple that may be frustrating is that, although they provide several Mac storage upgrades, the cost is too expensive for most users. In this video, I will show you how you can get the most out of your Mac even without upgrading to an expensive storage plan. Personally, I use a Mac with 256GB of SSD storage, which is more than enough for me. Fortunately for Mac users, Mac OS has a built-in storage manager which you can use to free up space on your computer. Before I introduce some other methods, let's start with what you can do on your Mac settings first. To free up space on your Mac, click on the Apple menu and select About This Mac. Then open the Storage tab. Here you will see how much storage you have left as well as the calculated disk size consumed by each file category. Now click on Manage to see the recommendations for disk optimization and to manually free up space as well. Under the Recommendations menu, you will see four available options to optimize your storage. First is to store your files in the cloud. By transferring your files on the cloud, you will definitely save on your computer's disk space. But of course, if you are trying to store a large number of files, make sure you have enough iCloud storage. Since Apple only offers 5GB of storage for free, you might want to opt for a storage upgrade to accommodate your files. If you want to learn how to upgrade your iCloud storage, check out my video by clicking on the tag at the top right corner or find the link in the description below. However, I would recommend Microsoft 365 as a better alternative if you need to upgrade your cloud storage. For a reasonable price, you can have access to Microsoft's programs like Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and OneDrive. I'll explain how you can save on your Mac storage using OneDrive later in the video. For the meantime, let's proceed to the next available option in the Recommendations menu. The second option is Optimize Storage. When you click on the button, it will automatically remove movies or TV shows that you have already watched from Apple TV or iTunes. Next is the Empty Trash Automatically. I recommend that you enable this option so that your files in the trash can can be automatically deleted permanently if they've been there for more than 30 days. Lastly, Reduce Clutter. With this option, you can quickly find files or apps that are taking too much space and remove them if necessary. Below the Recommendations menu, you will see that the files on your Mac are grouped according to their category like Applications, Documents, Photos, etc. If you click on a category, it will load the large files by default. You can also sort them according to their size or to when you accessed it last so that it will be easier to decide which files have been rarely used and are no longer needed. To remove files, simply select each and click Delete. Under these file categories, there is also the System Data option. However, this option is disabled, so you will not be able to manually clean up using the Mac Storage Manager. If you want to know how to free up space inside your system data, you can check out my video linked in the tag or in the description below. As I have mentioned earlier, one good alternative for your extra cloud storage is Microsoft OneDrive. With OneDrive, you can have unrestricted access to your files in your local drive without taking up your computer's disk space. To do this, simply set your files to Online Only Access by right-clicking on them and select Free Up Space. Keep in mind that the Free Up Space option will not delete your file. Instead, it will only be configured to be accessed online. Of course, make sure you have an internet connection. As long as you're connected to the internet, you can access your files without consuming any of your Mac's disk space. You can click on the link in the top right corner to get Microsoft 365 Family for a discounted price. For less than $10 per month, you can get up to 6 terabytes worth of storage. That is only one of OneDrive's many advantages. If you want to know more about how this works on your Mac, check out my linked video in the description below. 
Although Mac comes with a built-in storage manager, there may be times when it's difficult to identify certain files that are using up too much space. Therefore, you will need a software install to expedite your Mac's storage cleanup. For this, I'm going to recommend and use Clean My Mac from MacPaw. Clean My Mac is created by MacPaw to automatically show your massive files that you can delete to save disk space and free up gigabytes of junk from all folders with just one click. The good thing about this software is that it is notarized by Apple so it is safe to install and launch on your Mac. But please take note that this program is compatible for Mac OS 10.12 and higher. To download the software, just click on the tag in the top right corner or click on the link in the description below. Clean My Mac has several important features which you can use to clean or free up space on your Mac. One of them is the Smart Scan. With a simple click, the program will quickly scan for unnecessary junks, possible risks on your device as well as boost its speed. However, keep in mind that you can only be allowed to free up space of up to 500 megabytes if you're a trial user. Otherwise, you will be asked for an activation key before you can continue with your cleanup. If you want to experience the full features of Clean My Mac, you can subscribe to their premium plan. Another feature is the System Junk. For first-time users, you will have to grant access and allow the necessary permissions for each folder on your local drive. After that, click Scan to automatically calculate how much junk you can remove on your Mac, which mostly includes cache files and language files. You can also delete mail attachments, remove rarely used app from the app management, and get rid of large and old files from your drive. Using these several options, you can definitely free up gigabytes of data from your Mac storage. As an additional tip, you can also save on space by compressing your old files and transferring them to an external hard drive. Fortunately, Mac OS has a built-in compressor tool, so you can easily compress multiple files at once. Compressing files will reduce their size, thus saving you a bit of extra disk space. To do this, right-click on a file or folder and choose Compress from the menu. The output will be automatically saved as a zip file. After compressing, macOS retains the original files or folders. So if everything is compressed, you can delete the original files from your Mac to save on storage. And that's it. If I could help you, feel free to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. See you next time. Bye.